Another way that we can customize Dreamweaver is in the Preferences dialog box. We looked at our new document preferences earlier, so now let's look at a couple of other things we can change. We'll go up to the Edit menu and choose Preferences. In the Preferences category, we see a section called Code Hints. Code Hints can be really handy for reminding you of HTML tags that require a closing tag. There are a couple of options you can choose about when to use Code Hints, or you can disable them completely. When I haven't used them in a while, I tend to find Code Hints annoying, but they're really handy when I'm used to them. Down in the Fonts category, we can choose the default font that displays when we're editing pages. Mine is set to Times New Roman for the Design view, and Source Code Pro for my Code view. I can click on the font name and choose from any font installed on my computer, and I can change the size of the font. Keep in mind, these aren't the fonts that your web page will use when displaying in a browser. Those are controlled through the CSS code. These are the fonts that you'll see when you're editing your web page in Dreamweaver. When you switch from Design View to Live View, you will see the fonts that the browser will display for your web page. We can also click on the Interface category and change the theme of our Dreamweaver interface. I can change my workspace to a darker interface or back to light. We can choose whether or not invisible elements show during Design View. Invisible elements are items that you have in your code, but which don't display visually to the user. We can choose which external editors we want to use for certain file types. We can also choose which file types we want Dreamweaver to open in Code View instead of Design View. This can be really useful as script files don't have anything to show visually in Design View. We can also choose options for our real time preview. I'll set Google Chrome as my default browser for previewing files. And I could also add a secondary browser to Firefox or Safari. We also have several options for extracting images from a Photoshop file using the Extract panel. We can save the extracted images as PNG 8 Alpha, PNG 32, or JPEG, and we can choose to save multiple versions of the extracted images for specific device resolutions. The site preferences deal with when you are uploading and downloading files between Dreamweaver and a server. There are several options here for dealing with checking files in and out and prompting before uploading files. You can also turn linting on or off. A form of debugging, linting is the process of analyzing code to flag potential errors. Errors and warnings discovered through linting are displayed in the output panel. These are just a few of the preferences we can change in Dreamweaver. Spend some time looking through them and customizing them to your own workflow.